In this lesson, we're going to learn about the Stream Sets expression language for Data Collector. We'll cover functions, constants, date-time functions, literals, and operators. We'll also cover the expression of evaluator processor, field and record level attributes, and expressions at pipeline runtime. In the expression language, or EL for short, there are several categories of functions. There are record functions, for example, to access values in a record. When working with a setting or configuration item throughout the platform, only those EL functions and elements that are relevant to that setting will be available. In other words, the stream sets EL is contextual to the feature we are configuring. Error record functions allow error code and error message extraction. Base64 allow us to encode and decode data in Base64. Data category functions allow data validation and data part extraction, such as extracting an area code from a phone number. Data drift functions generate alerts by monitoring for input data schema changes. For example, we can generate an alert if the number of fields and records are different than the number of fields expected. Credential functions allow for accessing sensitive information such as passwords and secrets from a credential store, for example, HashiCorp Vault or AWS Secrets Manager. Data generator functions create mock or test data to allow for accelerating pipeline development and applying CICD best practices such as unit testing. There are many other functions in the EL library that you can explore and use in your pipelines. The EL has built-in constants that can be used for data type checking. For example, to check if a value is a decimal or is null. With the null constant, it can be assigned as a value. Let's see some example usage of constants. There are also datetime convenience functions to provide current datetime elements from current year to current second. These are useful for constructing directory names. The EL has a set of literals that include booleans, integer, float, quotes, and escape characters. Also note that there are reserved words that will affect the outcome of an EL expression if not included in quotes. To build EL expressions, there are arithmetic, logical, and relational operators. For complex string processing, the stream sets EL supports regular expressions. To learn more about regular expressions, go to the Data Collector Regular Expressions documentation. The Expression Evaluator is a powerful pipeline processor that can be used to evaluate expressions for record fields and attributes. It is commonly used for overriding existing values or enriching records by creating entirely new fields and attributes. Here are some examples of field and attribute expressions. We can create very natural and easy to read arithmetic expressions. Whether using the expression evaluator processor or other processors, when previewing a pipeline, the preview can be configured to show the record and field headers. There are also functions to retrieve user and system record attributes. Expressions can also be evaluated by referencing runtime values such as parameters, environment variables, and reading from resource files. For runtime parameters, they are defined at pipeline build time. First, define the parameter name. Second, use the EL enclosure to reference the parameter anywhere in your pipeline that accepts runtime parameters such as a JDBC connection URI field. Finally, at runtime, when the pipeline runs as a job, the parameter name is replaced by the value provided in the job's configuration. Runtime environment properties can also be accessed. Although available as an option, it's generally not recommended to use this approach unless all of the pipelines require a common property. Finally, resource files can be accessed at pipeline runtime. This is useful for accessing sensitive data that is secured through file access permissions. The files need to be stored in a resource directory that is accessible to the data collector process running the pipeline. It is, however, preferable to use credential stores for storing and accessing sensitive data. For more details about the StreamSets expression language, visit the documentation.
Now it's your turn to apply some of the expression language in your pipelines.